how to install official AOS P extended ROM based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official AOSP extended ROM version being 8.0 based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and then you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? We have separate videos for those which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Another thing make sure is that you have a backup of all the pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any boot loops, any encryption issues, you might have to do a format data from TWRP recovery in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Next thing I would like to mention is that make sure you do read the pinned comment on this video because it does have some very important information. So as you can see, I do have my POCO F1 which right now is running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. Now, another thing you need to know is whether your device is decrypted or not. So for MIUI, you will go into settings, password and security, tap on privacy. For me, encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted, which means my device is decrypted. Those of you who are on custom ROMs based on AOSP, you will go into settings, security, advanced and as you can see this device is encrypted now based on the fact whether your device is encrypted or not you might need to flash disable force encryption which brings us to the question that what are the files which you need so all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video for starters you need the rom itself which is aosp extended version 8.0 official then if your device is decrypted again if your device is decrypted, you need disable force encryption. Then you also need G apps. I am using Nix stock G apps. And you need the firmware file for the POCO F1. Next thing, go into settings, password and security, remove your fingerprint, face unlock and password. Once that is done, go back, go into me account, remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next thing we need to do is boot into TWRP. So first up, turn off your device. Once the device has turned off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery logo. And as you can see, I am running TWRP version 3.5.1 and the link for this can be found in the description of this video as well. First up, go into wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe. Once this is done, we need to tap on the home button, go into install. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. In case you downloaded all the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In case you transferred them from your computer, you would know where they are. So we'll go into download. The first file which we need to select is the firmware file. Then add more zips, select the AOSP extended version 8.0 official ROM file, add more zips, and then we are going to select next stock Google apps and then swipe to confirm flash. Once all the files have flashed successfully, we can scroll up and make sure there were no errors. So here we are flashing the firmware file. Everything was flashed without any issues. Then we are flashing the ROM itself, which is AOSP extended version 8.0. Everything was flashed without any issues here as well. Script succeeded result was one and then we are flashing next G apps no errors here as well so we will tap on the home button now those of you whose device was decrypted we need to flash disable force encryption so we'll go into mount 
make sure the vendor partition is mounted tap on the home button go into install select disable force encryption and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done tap on the home button those of you whose device was encrypted you do not have to flash disable force encryption however if you run into a boot loop you might have to perform a format data so while you're in the boot loop press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twrp logo then you will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier in the video format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things for now we are going to skip format data going to reboot and select system and there it is we do have the aosp extended boot animation on our poco f1 do note the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient now it looks like we are stuck on the boot animation so the developer mentions that if it looks you are stuck on the boot animation perform a reboot by pressing and holding the power button till the device reboots so we just performed a reboot and let us see if we can boot into aosp extended without performing a format data from twrp and there it is this time we have successfully booted into aosp extended version 8.0 we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and i did flash next g apps so i'm getting the option of choosing between pixel and quick step i will use pixel and we have successfully booted into aosp extended next up let us go into settings and then we can go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will see we are running aosp extended version 8.0 official build android version is 11 the kernel they are using is shiva's own no name kernel se linux is set as enforcing we can also go into security yes you do have face unlock and app lock and phone is not encrypted and there it is peeps we have successfully installed aosp extended version 8.0 based on android 11 on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you